since Tuesday evening, and welcome to another edition of Ann Lander's Dating Do's and Don'ts. Hello, young daters, whoever you may be. Our first letter comes all the way from Bowie, Maryland. It reads, Dear Anne, is it okay if two kids sit together on a couch even if they don't plan on getting married? At ease, youngsters, Anne says it is perfectly all right for two youngsters to sit on a sofa together as long as the sofa doesn't fold out into a bed. Seek counseling. Dear Anne, if a song with sexual overtones comes on the radio, is it okay to sing along or will I offend my girlfriend? Signed, Cowardly Crooner. It's all right to sing anything you'd like, as long as you delete the suggestive lyrics. Seek counseling. Oh my, mm -hmm, man, you think I'm, mm -hmm. come on, honey, tell me so. If you really need me, just reach out and mm -hmm. come on. So. Dear Ann, I can't stand it when my boyfriend sings along with the radio, especially when he hums the dirty parts. Care to comment? Signed, Love Him, Hate His Music. Dear Love Him, Hate His Music. Can it, Ann? I was just joking anyway. How do I indicate to him that, that I want him to put his hand on my knee? Not my thigh or my shin, but, but my knee. My, my left knee. Signed, Fibula Fetish. Are you finished? No more joking. Just nudge his knuckles with your kneecap. But you don't really want him to touch your knee, do you? <laughs> Do you? Do you? Dear Ann, I'd like to put her kneecap on my knuckles. No, wait, no. I want to hold her hand, but my hands are sweaty. My skin's like a freshwater salmon. What do I do? That's simple. Just Wipe your hand on her knee. Uh, uh, uh. Dear Anne, I have this girlfriend, see, and I, I desperately want to look deeply into her eyes, but I'm shy. P.S. I'm 17. Signed, Cowardly Crooner. You want to look into her eyes? Think about it, Buster. Just think of the consequences. If you looked into her eyes, would you be able to hold back once you got into the passion? Would you be able to face that hot bundle of adolescent passion after it is over? Are you willing to marry this girl? Can you support a family? Seek counseling. Dear Anne, when when my boyfriend is staring at me, I get I get this funny feeling in my stomach. Am I in love? Signed Wondering. You cheap, sleazy broad. After all my advice, you're just asking for trouble. You'd just love to get pregnant, wouldn't you? I'll never understand the younger generation. Where are the parents? Here's what the Pope has to say about teenage promiscuity. Wow, just terrible. That's right, John Paul. And you two kids sitting in that living room in Billings, Montana, better remember that before the kitchen gets too hot. Dear Ann Landers, I really love this girl. And I was wondering, if we were really careful, uh -huh. and we talked about it beforehand, mm -hmm. and we, we were really careful, really? I was wondering, would it be okay if, if I, you know, put on her earring? <laughs> Disgusting! You are one of those Yale boys, are you? 
they write me the wildest tales I have ever read. My gosh and my golly, Dolores. Should we walk in on those two kids? I don't know how. Hmm. Dear Ann Landers, I never thought I'd be writing to you, but well, here I am. When my wife Irene and I, not our real names, came home after a movie, A Change of Seasons, not its real title, and found our daughter Sherry, also not her real name, and her boyfriend Phil, his real name, the rapscallion, together on the couch. Should we have avoided an awkward situation, or should we have walked right in on them? It's our house, after all. <coughs> Sign me, Puzzled, in Tulsa. I cannot understand you spineless parents. Of course you should walk in on them. Wake up and smell, smell the coffee. Lay down the law. You let them know that you don't approve of their adolescent experiments, especially when they take place on a couch that isn't even paid for. I don't understand how you parents can let these children run rampant on yesterday's morals. You should make a scene, the uglier the better, and tell them so. Seek counseling. And you two, disgraceful, you there tucking your shirt and comb your hair. Young ladies, do not cross their legs or chew gum. Dear Anne, if I gave you ten bucks, would you go out to a movie and leave us alone? What's the movie rated? <laughs>